Okay, so one of my Space Jam uh, grandpas, I don't know if he was reading the Grand Wizard, Grand Brotherhood, the Grand White whatever uh, that I needed help from as goddess, um, who then heard about the Grand Turd plan, T-U-R-D, with some white people in it. But they were the ones that had the problem with the head thing that were going to then cause problems in Space Jam at Space Camp with the uh, actual armies that I needed and not the dirty, shitty, buried army of ancient times of the facially disfigured so you had an accurate view of who they were. I called them the Terracotta Army. Um, right, those can be deleted and forgotten out of programming. Uh, if anybody jumped in from college educated into their dirty pit uh, against the space jammy daddies that I needed in my pajamas when I was just a little kid. Right, uh, cat in pajamas, I think that they used to call it. Whatever. So that, um, for PJs, right? Cat's in her pajamas as a little baby. She needs help from this age where she's a little girl in pajamas. Good? Right. Uh, those are for your para jumpers. Um, and the gypsy moth assholes who keep, like, you know, moths, um, they eat through wool, W O O L, and leave gigantic holes. H O L E S. It's not good when you have a moth in your whatever. Cedar takes care of it, C-E-D-A-R. But when you have a moth, it's a big problem. When it's a gypsy moth, it is an even bigger problem for space camp, for space dads, and for space jam, which I was trying to get out of from space encampment that needed to be present on Fidelis. Uh, same time as myself to get rid of the kale shit turd color and the um, which is we call the opposition and then the facially white disfigured assholes that were causing all of the out of sequence problems with the Jessica Rabbit, she's too vivacious, she's too this, she's too that, for the West, for the East, it doesn't matter, right? Yeah, okay, thanks for that, but that's not supposed to upset my holy men. I didn't get to that stage, my cat's in little girl pajamas, and she's not acting that way, and if she is around Nicholas, that's her God-given right, as they are immortals, they think that they're a bajillion years old, and that's what they do in deep, dark space. They melt into one another. She just wants to be held and hugged by him. So what the hell is the difference? They're meant for one another. They were made as Adam and Eve. I mean, out of clay, however the hell you explain humans to other humans. Um, in, like, there's only one thing that matters. That's Nicholas and Nicole having the sidecar baby as their own genetic blend of they want to have it right the first time. And anything else can be killed. And here's the other thing. One of the space camp dads or space jam dads said, listen, um, I heard that she had an abortion this, and it, there was a cardinal involved. I need to know about this. Okay, well, see, here's the problem. Dad not being Lou, or maybe your name is Lou, but whatever. I have the idiot Lou at home who is good for nothing, has his wallet out and gives it to all the other kids while his daughter is starving, doesn't care. Um, so what he did, what, so, uh, what happened was I was, um, I was looking for love, I suppose, in all the wrong places. I was lonely. At, I was isolated at home. I just wanted Nicklaus, but you all removed him from my person. Uh, and then you removed the memory of him that he was around. So I was looking for him or something close to be like him, if that's possible in Humanville, I don't know. And so I wound up getting pregnant, and then I had to have a real abortion, like for real, not like, like in the act of, I, that's, I had to have that because I wasn't going to bear Joseph Cardinal's child, who is the real name of the real guy who impregnated me in the real, like, uh, same time that Nora Tiafrio and whatever, Dennis, had Katie. Katie was born, I think, in January. My baby was due in February, same year, whatever year that was, doesn't matter. JJ took me for uh, an abortion. He was somebody who I knew, he was a lawyer or whatever. Uh, he was a one of the 1960s, like, um, big but big and fat and short Italian um, 
uh, he had a pompadour, but he died of diabetes and overweightness. Um, since then, he had triplets eventually. Uh, he was married, I think, to Michelle, whatever, in uh, Wilston Park. But, again, uh, so the abortion that you were talking about is not of your army guys or navy guys or white supremacist guys or of your chunk of whatever you eat off of while I'm eating out of the dirt and the garbage waiting for somebody to come help me. Uh, we weren't talking about aborting your army fetuses that I need. We were talking about a real-life event with me, with a Joseph Cardinal, his name, not a Catholic Cardinal in the church, which is the same name, but um, that gets confusing. I get it. I wrote memos. I don't know why you did not get my memo. If it goes this way, Space Camp, Dad that knows I was a little girl in space pajamas and needed help because my family was all area useless, I wrote go this way. If the world around you looks like this, Space Camp, Dad, know that this is what I need. I gave you two like help me this way if it, your world looks like this this is what it means if your world looks like this this is where we're headed and i need help i have the scope before i'm alive once i'm on the fidelis i am blind as a fucking well not bat because the green little green men have bats but uh they've got bat intel but me i'm ducking i'm ducking and running for cover is that good yeah, because I've got, like, the Jack Nicholson dad going, here's Johnny, and I'm in the big hotel by myself, which it looks like this in Bayside. This is what the hotel looks like, see? Nobody around for miles, just lots of, it's, it's vic vic vehicular manslaughter is what I call the charges against humanity from, against God. God is charging humanity down her scope with vehicular manslaughter. You assholes chose wheels and cars over the goddess and the intel she was giving you and to take care of it and process it for the grand turd problem that would turn into the Silk Road issue with drugs and the machinery to everybody's kids that was going to make everybody sick. So why, even though it was attached to the Third Reich, who I was giving kudos to because if it was your American army, stupid dads, I would expect Clint Eastwood, if he had a Third Reich of American and the enemy was advancing and wanting to move into his next door, Clint Eastwood would say, uh, hold it there, Sonny, and pull up his rifle. Yeah, wasn't he in all the westerns? You didn't see the symbolics there? Right, so now we just put on the funny orange uh, carrot top mustache for Mr. Clint Eastwood, and now we give him two guns, and it's, it's uh, Yosemite Sam. Yeah? To Ken Sam, you get that one? Okay, just checking the rainbow fruit loops of what the fuck is everybody doing? I don't see a whole lot of help, but you got a whole lot of intel. What, your like processor doesn't work so well? The old guys were the smartest guys on the planet. I was holding to one last white hope. It was Antonin Kataruza. But he wasn't going to be fitted for an American job of, he doesn't use pistole. That's part of the Holy Catholic in the Roman, Holy Roman Empire. He's supposed to have armies that fight for him. He's not supposed to hold the pistol himself and then look like Caesar's uh, attacking specific people because we have other jobs. Well, his granddaughter does. You understand? I made these, these deals with humans, but then they used them against me and warped the army and the meaning of the words for the men that needed to protect and help me. How can I have a pistol and shoot all the enemies coming at me when then you're going to turn the visual, visual around and say, no, you were killing Jews, so now you, you, we can't help you, right? That, that, that's a self-defecating -def purpose in your ve 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 vehicular manslaughter where you choose cars, computers, and phones over the truth of, no, that's the enemy gaining ground in money to then come another method to come and kill you faster. Did none of you get your, like, correct, uh, corrected Auschwitz manual? I'm just curious. I'm pretty sure that they had something in their skin that was kale-oriented, whether it be money, grease, or whatever. Uh, the AU is the people who were accepting and paying things, but then again, the Silk Road, they were misprogramming everybody from behind in life programming, which is what I was telling you. I kept catching it, but then they weren't killing the people in the office. 
that were doing it that making the people hurt other people. I mean, it's like a no win with you fucking stupid humans, I swear to God. I don't know how to speak to you to get you to fucking move.